Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 9 on page 415. Parallelogram OBCA has its sides determined by OA or vector OA which equals to vector A 4 2 4 and vector OB which equals to vector B which is 3 1 4. Its fourth vertex is point C. A line is drawn from B perpendicular to side AC of the parallelogram to intersect AC at N. Determine the length of BN. Step 1. Draw a diagram. So the question says it's going to be a parallelogram which looks something like this. And you can label this in the exact same sequence. So O, B, C, and A. Now in the given vector OA, equals to A, which equals to 4, 2, 4. So draw the arrow. There's OA, which equals to A, which equals to 4, 2, 4. Likewise, if you look at OB, which equals to B, and that equals to 3, 1, 4. OB equals to B, which equals to 3, 1, and 4. The fourth vertex it's point C. A line is drawn from B perpendicular to side AC. So if you go back to the diagram, I'm extending this line in such a way that it's 90 degrees with respect to AC, and this point is going to be N. So this is going to be N. Determine the length of BC. So the question becomes what is the magnitude of, sorry, the magnitude of BN, not BC. That's my mistake. So Here's step two. When you think about a parallelogram, you're thinking about the area. And if you think about the cross product, uh, you can use the fact that the area of a parallelogram equals to the magnitude of the cross product of vector OA and vector OB. So that's the first idea. And if you go back to the basics before you started uh, calculus and vectors, to find the area of a parallelogram, you would look at the base times its height. So base times height. So you have to combine these two ideas, meaning the area of a parallelogram equals to the magnitude of OA cross OB. And this equals to the base times the height of this parallelogram. And if you go back to the given, and if you look at the diagram, OA is given to be 4, 2, 4. OB is given to be 3, 1, and 4. If you look at the base and the height of this parallelogram, the base is going to be the magnitude of OB. The height is going to be the magnitude of BN. So now you plug in all the numbers and can isolate for the magnitude of BN. So on the left hand side, when you're taking the cross product, let's show this on the side. Let's use a different color. So look at 4, 2, and 4, and you're crossing this with 3, 1, and 4. So what that means is this equals to, and again, let's write down the steps. Let's make sure you are following this. And the mechanical steps are in agreement. You look at 2 times 4 minus 1 times 4. Likewise, if you look at the last column, it's going to be 4 times 1 minus 2 times 3. And if you look at the middle column, it's going to be 4 times 3 minus 4 times 4. Now, on the right-hand side, to find the magnitude of OB, this equals to the square root of 3 square plus 1 square plus 4 square. And you copy that last part, the magnitude of BN. Now, if you look at the left-hand side uh, carefully, you can collect like terms, and you can simplify this. That's going to be 8 minus 4. That's going to be 4. 12 minus 16, that's going to be negative 4. 4 minus 6, 
that's going to be negative 2. On the right-hand side, if we take the square root of 9 plus 1 plus 16, that's going to be the square root of 26. If you look at the left-hand side, to find the magnitude of 4, negative 4, negative 2, you have to take the square root of the sum of the squares. On the right-hand side, I'm just going to copy this. So back to the left-hand side, this is going to be 16 plus 16 plus 4. So this would give you the square root of 36, which basically is going to be 6. Again, I'm copying the right-hand side. And now, the opposite of multiplying by the square root of 26 is to divide by the square root of 26. This means, therefore, the magnitude of Bn equals to, in exact form, 6 divided by the square root of 26 units. Or, if you want to multiply the top and bottom by root 26, that's fine. That's going to be 6 times root 26 divided by 26. Or you can reduce this to uh, 3 root 26 over 13 units. Or you can round this to one decimal place. Let's write all this in one line. So to one decimal place, the magnitude of Bn is approximately 1.2 units. I hope this makes sense.